Chris. Chris. Episode 5, we found in Chris. What's up, everybody? Um, Welcome back. Unfiltered. Episode 5.5. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> last week we had another little issue. Yeah, we've got some um, unfortunate news. Yeah. We had a guest on, and unfortunately, um, their sound did not work. Um, we haven't actually let them know yet, but. Um, I guess you'll know when this video comes out. Sorry, bro. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> We're gonna try to fix it, but um, yeah, yeah we didn't we didn't post last week, obviously, um, as some of you know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to fix it. Maybe post it um, a couple weeks down the road as like a supplementary video if we can fix it. But for the time yeah. being, here we are, um, episode five uh, coming Point out. Five coming out this next week. So that's really exciting. Yeah, it it was a little bit of a flop. I was just looking at the video and I was uh, trying to fix it. I was up pretty late actually trying to mess around with it, but that was a little tough. It is what it is sometimes. It is what it is. And apologies for not posting. Um, it was a little bit uh, tough, but we're back. Like you said, episode five, unfiltered. Welcome back. Um, what have you been up to? It's been working. Just been, been running. working, running. I know. It's been grinding, honestly. It's just been busy i'm really we, tired but we were supposed to do a birthday podcast but then we got wrapped up yeah we got really busy La- last week was my birthday um mm-hmm. on the wednesday wish him happy birthday in the comments thank you guys um we ended up going to calgary and we were gonna film at the uh the state university but we ended up um not doing that <laughs> ended up just really busy just plans had fun after plans after plans after plans yeah you know that happens um i had a lot of fun though so it was it was good i Life really wanted happens. to to film though you know i like working and especially like on my birthday i like working mm-hmm. but you know it is what it is it um, was still a productive day you know we did got a lot done it was a lot of fun mm. life happens saw some people don't get life get in the way too much you it's know? true but yeah we're here right now filming so still kind of a birthday That's podcast what's in up. A, way, a little bit all y'all watching, sub button right there. If this ever makes it, which it will, I shouldn't say if it ever makes it, onto Spotify, Apple Music, Google, uh, SoundCloud, wherever this may be in the future, follow us on there. Run it up, hit us with the likes, and we keep it going. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it coming. We'll keep it coming. Back to back to back to back. <laughs> so today's subject's going to be um, – the impact that the food that you put into your body makes on the performance that your body um, is able to to do for 100%. you. We talked about this in episode, what was it, 2.5? Yeah, I think it was. 1.5, something like that. The one, the, the one that croaked as well. And that that was our first croak, so hopefully no more mishaps from here on. We, yeah, we've I gotten mean, a little smarter, learn. so. <laughs> yeah, I live in Learning learn. curve, but yeah, nutrition, take it away. Um, well, the way I look, uh, the way I look to look at it is, um, you are what you eat, right? And uh, the perfect, like, way to look at it is you're kind of like a car, right? What you put into the car is how the car is going to perform. If you change the oil every 15,000 kilometers, the car is going to slowly break down. Um, if you put in um terrible gas or um if you don't if you put in water or like you know anything that other than what's supposed to go into the car is not going to function properly um so that's how i look at like a body right because we are machines we're designed as machines right the so the thing is we're we're a machine comprised of a bunch of cells exactly a lot of people don't look at it that way they just think oh i'm just a human being i'm a dude or i'm a gal no you you need to watch what you put in your body I remember we even went so off about this actually the first time we talked about it. Unfortunately, again, that video is gone. But bygones be bygones. We're going to talk about it again. We're going to build upon that again. Mm -hmm. You have to really be careful because a lot of people aren't careful. Even myself, you know, in this last week and a half where we haven't really been on top, on top of our work and our side projects, kind of just let myself go a little bit. Not obviously I still look the same, but let myself go in terms of I was just eating junk. I was eating candy like every day, pop, where the weeks prior to that, I was just eating consistently, you know, my three eggs in the morning, my oatmeal, my protein bars, all of that, my protein shakes, 
all of that prep that you do to go to the gym and whatnot and then get built. Mm -hmm. Well, the most important thing, especially as like an athlete, like coming from me, if you expect your body to perform, then you need to be willing to put in the work, like not on and off the field, right? So like you want to be a good athlete. That means you need to be able to fuel your body properly. You need to be giving your body the proteins, the carbs, the sugars. You need to be giving your body the rest that it needs, the sleep, um, the recovery, the ice baths, the the physical treatment, the therapy. Like all of that, it all comes together to being the best athlete that you can be. But like nutrition is one of the biggest things because when you when, when you ex- exert yourself as a like in a, any athletic form, um, whether that be running, football, you know, um, any, any sport. You're tearing your muscles over and over and over again, and you need to be giving your body the fuel to repair. Mm-hmm. Because when you damage, you need to be able to repair, right? And it, it, it honestly just makes sense, right? There's tears, and in my mind, the way I look at it, there's tears. The food you, you throw at your body goes in and fixes the tears, mm-hmm. right? It like it's like It acts like a bandage, and it like fixes it, repairs it, and it's ready for more, right? And then you get stronger and stronger and stronger. So, like, by eating bad food, you're giving your body dollar store band-aids instead of, you know, good quality band-aids stuff that, that will won't stick. stick. Exactly. Stuff that won't last. Things that will end up harming it more than it does good. Exactly. And, like, if you're expecting to be able to just go, 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 go without actually taking care of your body and putting good food into your body, y- you're going to end up, you know, falling apart. You're not going to be a healthy athlete. You're going to be injured. Um, and you're just not going to be doing well. Like, even myself... I, I like that's one of the biggest things I struggle with. That's why I wanted to talk about it. Mm. Is is eating, not not necessarily eating well, but just eating in general. Like I have like a really hard time with getting in all my calories because I in all do those meals a day. Yeah, those are that's, those are big ones for a lot of people. Well, it becomes like a, a job almost because you need to be putting in time to prep. You need to be putting in time to go shopping. You need to be putting in time to cook. You need to be putting in time to eat. And that, that takes, like, two, three hours a the th- day. Exactly. So the thing that makes that difficult is spreading it out. If yeah. you spread it out all throughout a week instead of just doing what you need to do when you need to do it. So say you set one day for cooking, then the next day restocking, buying groceries, and then the next day actually cooking again and then getting the week ready kind of thing. There's, in my head, little room for error. You get what I mean? No, I agree. I, I think, like... We know what we need to do, but we like we struggle mm-hmm. to like do it. Exactly. But if I don't make my lunch in the morning and I just go to work without having a lunch, well, what am I going to have to do? I'm not going to starve. I'm going to go buy food from the food court or something. Mm-hmm. I work at the mall. Mm-hmm. So that's ends up being my reality whenever I don't eat something, whenever I don't bring something for work. I just go closer and, to the end of my food, shift even. Food's expensive when you're eating out. Like 100%. I work at Earl's and I obviously – we get like our staff meals right um and they're like a decent percentage off so i i usually enjoy eating but i remember when i first started there i would never eat there i'd always bring my own food Mm -hmm. and i've kind of like settled into it because it's so easy it's so accessible and you can do whatever you want and it's it's really tempting really it's so tempting especially when you work at a restaurant for all things even for myself working at the mall again the food court is always an option Mm -hmm. it is literally a 30 second walk to the food court yeah and there is several different options because mm-hmm. it's a food core, but th- it's like all of those things are bad for you. It's like so important to like set that boundary in your mind and like just know that, that that's not the better choice. Right. Yeah. You could have um, prepped the day before or a couple days before to have that meal for that day, because when you don't do that, then you allow yourself to go and spend money that you don't need to be spending. Right. Because when you prep, you're buying a thing of chicken or a thing of fish or a thing of like any protein, right? Well, that's, that's your that's while. The, that, that's the way I usually mm-hmm. uh, prep my meals, right? I usually have a carb, a protein, and a vegetable and a fruit. Got all that balance. I know every country exactly. has their respective food guides. We're Canadian, so we got the Canadian food guide. That has actually gone through a lot of changes over the years. I remember mm-hmm. our initial model when we were in like grade two or grade three. It's completely different than what it is now. Mm-hmm. That's because people are always figuring out new ways to eat even healthier. So, firstly, let let's do this. But the food guide is just like a a general, right? a general because, overview. Because like I, I cannot follow the food guide mm. because of 
how demanding I am of my body. Yeah. And how much my my yes, exactly. my discipline is demanding of my body. I need to like we'll get there. Double that. Yeah, we'll get there. I want to give this quick shout out to everybody who's trying to be healthy. Mm-hmm. Everybody who wants to be healthy. Everybody who's an athlete. Everybody who wants to get big, bulk, lean, skinny, fit. Whoever is trying to focus on themselves and eat healthier. And whoever wants to save money too, because this is a great way of saving money. Mm-hmm. Eat healthier. Uh, and now I, I also want to like, like mm-hmm. throw a rope to the people that are like you know struggling with it because like it's it's a it's a huge thing. It's something that we all need to go through every yeah. single day. You know, and it's three, tough. Four it's times a day. We need to eat right. Mm-hmm. So we're like making the good, the right choice, the good choice, the choice that you will thank yourself later for. Um, just know that it's worth it in the end. Um, and and you will Straight think facts. yourself, you and especially feel like so much better. You'll fall into a routine too exactly. after a couple of weeks of of eating right and cooking right. Like you'll fall into a routine. You'll see changes with your moods. You'll see changes with how you feel, um, your sleep, your your quality of uh, your workouts, your energy levels. Right? Absolutely, it just, just boosts. I actually even want to give my own example. Like w- way back when it was still grade school and all that, just normal stuff being like a younger kid all i really did was sit in my room play video games all day you know sometimes i still do that but i'm smarter about it and it was just pops candy chips my meals i would forget about them i'm like oh shit i have to eat like three hours later you know Mm. and i i have a really high metabolism so it didn't reflect on my body but i was definitely like tired definitely not as high energy and for those people who know me, they know I'm a really high energy guy. It was just kind of just shambles. But summer of grade nine, I believe it was when I actually started working out. My brother was like, yo, shape up. You got to start looking at this, feel better, eat better, all of that. Started working out, started eating better. I don't know if you remember that summer. Like we were people were always telling us, hey, you want to go to McDonald's? I was like, nah, I, I got I got that. milk and stuff at home. You know? I do remember that. I felt so much better. It was even ridic- like I was I felt more alert, more awake. And this is just from a simple lifestyle change, just cutting out pop and chips, for example. Well, mostly just sugars. I felt so much better. Felt so much on on the ball. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100 percent. Like like the, the change that it makes, like that small shift in like deciding what goes in your body. Because, like, you are what you eat, like what I said. And that that is so true. Mm-hmm. Like, if you only fuel your body with with negative foods, like uh, fast foods and saturated fats and just all the unhealthy food that just doesn't even do any good to your body, um, your body's going to give back what you give it. So if you give your body the vitamins that it needs, the proteins that it needs, what you're using of it, right, the organics, it's, it's going to backfire um, something – something healthy right and if you want to be healthy be part of the podcast bro if you want to be healthy you need to be healthy mind body like everything right because there's lots of people that can have uh, a ripped physique and and they can also eat eat unhealthy right um it all depends on your on your metabolism just like what renee was saying because you can you can work out and you can do this and that and you can still have a gorgeous body, but you might feel like trash. Because the food that you eat not only makes your body better, but it also makes your mind clearer, more alert, like what Renee yeah, said. It just so makes you much feel that goes into like it. The, the mental fog disappears. Again, everybody who's watching, simplest lifestyle change doesn't even have to be everything at once because then your body will go through some like not with hit. not with withdrawals, but almost withdrawals. You'll just crash but all of a sudden you'll feel so much better but even gradually over time like get rid of pop for example and you will feel so much better if you have like natural sugars in your body don't eat as much sugar eat other stuff it's well, crazy you will go through withdrawals you'll you'll go through what is called a detox mm-hmm. um because when you're detoxing that's you're the proper completely word for removing um said item right let's go with pop um you're removing that from your diet so your body is go- going to go through withdrawals. It's gonna want to. It's gonna crave it. It's gonna want it. But once you go, you jump that 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 hoop, right? Your body's not gonna want it anymore because you re- you replace that with um, 
uh, waters and 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 tea and 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 more organic substances that will actually fuel your body properly like we said you got the cheap band-aids and then you got the actual quality stuff exactly you know because because you you need to be repairing properly if you're not repairing properly your body's gonna behave and backfire the same way that you're treating it let us get on to how what happens if you don't eat at all period if you don't eat at all well the body's designed in a way that it is always going to fight for survival. Mm -hmm. So if you're not eating at all and you don't really have much on your body, um, it's going to just start eating at every a, any like fat that it can find. Mm -hmm. And you will become very skinny. Um, I know we learned about there's the a danger to that starvation. There's a, there's a danger to that, though. Before you hop on to that, if you don't eat at all, before your body starts gnawing away at the fat... It'll gnaw away. I believe it gnaws away at the protein first. The protein, and I, I also think it, it attacks the brain as well. Yeah. It attacks all of your muscles, all of those proteins, like we're saying, um, as well. Whenever you eat after that, the body is now in a fight-or-flight mode kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. So even if you're trying to get rid of fat, not eating is the worst way to do that. I cannot stress this enough. I know it's tempting to go, oh, I'm just not going to eat and I'm going to get skinny. No. But that is not how it works at all. So actually, every time you eat after a long period of not eating, your body will essentially grab onto all of that food you consume and convert it to fat because it doesn't know when it's going to need it next. Mm. Right. It's like a wild that we're we're all wild animals at the very base of what we are. And the body capitalizes on that and is like, oh, my God, I don't know what my next meal is going to be. That could be next year. So let me just save all of this food. And then it converts it into fat. So we, what you think is helping you is actually getting worse. And it, it only you will only get skinny and not a healthy skinny if you stop eating completely like for days. That's mm -hmm. that's when you start getting super thin. That's an issue. And that is not what you want because after you get super thin, you will not only notice that, well, you're super thin, but you'll all also notice you're super skinny because you lost all that muscle. Well, what you need to do if you want to lose weight, right? We'll jump onto that. You need to hit a caloric deficit. So yes. the calories that you burn in a day, you need to be consuming less than that. Mm -hmm. So you're burning more calories than you're consuming. Because mm -hmm. when, you when you're eating a healthy diet, right? For someone that doesn't want to lose or necessarily gain, you're going to be eating the amount that you burn so that it matches right up, right? If you want to gain weight, obviously, you're going to eat more than what you gain or than, than what you burn, sorry. So it's it's a very simple, like, scale that way. Um, and I, I personally like the cal the, the, the calorie um, way of measuring my food mm -hmm. because it's, uh, it's a great, like, you know, energy is dispensed and it needs to be recharged. That's a, gr that's a great way to look at it. That's the way I like to look at it. When your phone's dead, you need to charge it up to 100%. Same with your body. You burn 2,500 calories, and you, you need to recharge, and mm -hmm. you need to plug it in, you need to eat. Um, so that's a great way to look at it if you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to gain weight. It, it's, a, it's a slow process either way, gaining weight, losing weight. You do not want to just stop eating. You want to eat less than how much you're burning. Everything with nutrition, though, is also a double-edged sword. So... If you're doing like calorie counting, don't let it get obsessive either. Yeah, that's true. Because that not only looks bad on yourself as a person, like, oh my God, this guy. I mean, at the end of the day, you shouldn't care what people think. But still, like if you're always on everything you eat, literally everything, it's kind of a problem at that point without you noticing it. And it'll mm -hmm. only get worse and worse and worse. I think like everything in life, you should um, create like the perfect balance the perfect day like that's what i always like to resort to but the perfect meal plan let's say and okay. and live to it as good as you yes. can right like l l life is never perfect you know um i always like to say that's life you know it is what it is mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. like there's no point in holding grudges against like something that isn't perfect because nothing's ever going to be perfect hey if something is out of your control in a day like us going out let's say and we didn't film that's something that was in our control, but kind of out of our control, too, because we had stuff going on in the day. Yeah, it just If you happened. are on top of your stuff and all of a sudden one day your mom goes, hey, can you help me out? I need to move these boxes to another house or something like that. That kind of scenario and you forget a meal 
kind of, you know, it's in your control, but it's also out of your control. Yeah. Right? I, I just think, like... Like, life happens. I just think you just need to live up to, like, designing the perfect meal, right? The perfect yeah. days for meals. And just do your best and know that you're doing your best, right? Because mm-hmm. there's a difference between doing your best and just, like, letting things slide. And, like, knowing that you're just, like, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Know you're doing your best. And do your best for yourself because you're not hurting anyone but yourself. You're yes. literally just... just killing yourself slowly mm-hmm. like not not eating and 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 not taking care of your body and like i said like i go through it all, all the time like it, it, it is it becomes not like dreadful it is not a single person in the world that there's not a single person in the world that doesn't go through that kind of issue yeah like i know a lot of people really like love cooking they're like oh i love cooking like how do you not like cooking mm. well it's just not something that i like doing right it's just like how you don't like running for example like mm. you know it's just not my thing um, everyone's different but like yeah. we need to cook right it's something that needs to happen so if if i want to be the best athlete i need to be like cooking. cooking and eating and, and properly like usain bolt said he hated every second of training but look at him right mm. best sprinter of all time fastest man alive Was so a role model so like i mean just put it into perspective right everybody that is kind of on the same wavelength as us right now. Everybody who who cooks and does training of some sort, that's our new hunting, if you think about it, mm. right? You look at a tiger, you look at a lion, the reason why they're jacked, why they have big muscles and they can gnaw your head off in one bite is because, A, they're constantly in a state of hunger and they're always doing exercise to go get the food that they need right Mm -hmm. we don't have to do that anymore we can go in to save on foods we can go into kmart i don't know walmart and you just grab what you need right yeah we live in a civilized world now that's exactly it but you have to be getting that like our hunting like i keep saying is the new cooking that's what we do now we cook there's lots of people that tell me like there's no point in working out. Like, you don't need to work out anymore. Like, what are you working out for? Oh, right? that is such because a big mistake. I, I, whoever says that, man, I disagree entirely. Well, th- there's entirely. people that say, like, there's no point because, you know, we don't need to fight for our, our survival anymore. That right? doesn't matter. There's no reason to do it. So, um, to those people, the reason that, I don't, like, lots of us work out is to, to build our bodies and to see, like, how our potential, right, that kind of stuff, um, and just for pleasure and to release... Uh, um, positive um, hormones throughout our bodies. Um, but but back to the, the food side of it, um, we need to be feeding our body as if we were savages, as, mm. as if we were fighting for survival. Because when we work out, when we do that, like what Renee said, we're fighting, right, for our food, even like, like, like we used to. Even now we're doing this for pleasure. But we need to be refueling the way that we used to, not, right? Not even pleasure, still survival. Still survival, like sometimes... Working out? Uh... In some cases, I thought you were talking about food. My bad. Working out. But working out in some cases too, though, right? Because you, the more you work out, the healthier that you'll be even when you're older. I don't know if you guys have seen Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know if that, if how he's doing, if I'm completely wrong. Oh, but no. He's still, he's still ripped. He looks amazing, A. B, he looks super healthy. I haven't even seen this guy like... Oh my back, nah, bro. He's Arnold. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's what that's I mean true. when I say that too. Like a lot of people don't think about that fact. Well, it's an is it all an investment into your future oh, yeah. self. Like, it's it's the same way that everyone says, oh, you need to invest your money. You need to invest your time into your body, into your mind, into your soul. Mm-hmm. You know, like reading books. That's an investment. Going to school. That's an investment. Working out. That's an investment. Eating healthy. That's an investment. And the return is amazing. Like, the return is a uh, clear mind, mm. uh, gorgeous body. Um, Fight for your happy future life. self, honestly. Exactly. That's what eating well and working out boils down to, is you're fighting for your future self. Yeah. If you don't do any of those things when you're younger, when you have the ability to do it, you're going to suffer when you're old. That's just how it works. Well, every single, like, step that you take needs to be with the mindset that you're going to be fighting for your future self. So everything that you do should be, it's like a really weird concept, but you're never actually going to en- like enjoy pleasure now. Mm-hmm. 
you're always going to enjoy it later. Mm. But you're not actually going to because you're always going to be on to the next thing. Mm-hmm. Right? So, like, like let's say you meal prep, right? That's not, like, I know personally, that's not very enjoyable. But your future self, when he's eating it, that's going to be enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You're, you're going to look back and you're going to say, I'm so happy that I meal prepped. But when you're eating that food, you're already going to be thinking of the next time you need a meal prep. Mm-hmm. And it's always the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. And it's just, like, a huge rotation. And even for the older viewers that we may have, you know, it's never too late to get on that right path. That's true. But it's always better sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? Because, and I know this will be an echoed sentiment for anybody who's in that older age category. It starts getting harder to do those things. You know, you can get better at it, but it's a lot harder to than if you started when you were 15. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's... It's always going to be better the sooner you get into it, Mm. for Mm -hmm. sure. It's something people, again, they don't look at. And it's really frustrating to me. Like, I get so passionate about this. This is why I'm a Kanye student, I guess. Is that you really need to take account the benefits that you could have in the future now. Just be healthy. You know what I'm saying? It's it's kind of touchy, too, because it's a little difficult for some people who can't just up and say, just be healthy. You know, a lot of people have issues with that. But if you it's in your hands, if you have the power to do it, then do it. Because you're you're gonna thank yourself later down the line so much for all of those things. You know, I wish I even started earlier. I wish I didn't eat a bunch of junk when I was younger, because I don't know how that's gonna affect me sooner or later. Well, Hopefully I mean, not. If you fix up now, there like I'm still young. Realistically there shouldn't really be any but problems. Yeah. But if you fix up now, you should be you should be fine. Mm. Just, just every single day is, th- every single day is a new opportunity to do better and be better for yourself in the future and even for right now. Yeah, get gotta get that mentality straight right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Right off the bat, it's not about current pleasure; it's about future pleasure. Mm-hmm. And before we close off with that too, I also kind of want to get into like fast food. Okay. I know, I know, there's a lot of different things in the fast food realm. Firstly, something people gravitate to a lot is the healthier fast food options. Mm -hmm. I know people see like the salads at McDonald's or Tim Hortons and they're like, wow, you know, like that's healthy. I'm going to get myself a salad. It's still not healthy. You know, it may it may seem a lot healthier and it may be a lot healthier than, say, a Big Mac, but there's still a lot of shit that well, goes into it. Well, it's funny because cause you're comparing the Big Mac, right, the burgers, the fries, to the salad. Mm-hmm. But but you're you're it's like comparing an airplane to – or like a, a Hot Wheel to a real truck, mm-hmm. right? The real truck is the Big Mac. Mm-hmm. The Hot Wheel is the, is, is the salad. But they're both – just still not good for you like it's like it they're, they're both just they're both f- coming from the same i'd even McDonald's, say they're both just they're just like it's just not i'd even say uh, it's, it's like comparing a lamborghini to a honda civic it's still a car that drives you know what i'm saying okay okay either way though it still burns gas yeah. Whether one burns it more efficiently or not, it's still burning gas. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if you look at the Big Mac, it still has calories. So that's your gas. You got the salad from McDonald's, still got the calories, got the gas. They're both equally just as bad for you until you start putting premium gas into your car. Mm-hmm. Think of it that way. You got the regular, you got the premium, mm-hmm. right? In this case, Big Mac and mcdonald's salad are just regular gas you know they're both gas but one seems healthier than the other but it's not when you take that meal home you cook that meal you make you prep everything that's the premium gas the best thing about you know what you're putting into it best thing about cooking yourself is you know where it all comes from exactly right you went to the grocery store you bought it you went home you washed it you cut it up you put it on your plate and you know where it came from you looked at the tag. You saw that it came from the States. You saw that it came from Mexico. You saw that it came from Canada. You know where it's from, right? Fast food, you have no clue where that's been. You have a you have a general overview, right? Like, you know at a base level. But if you eat a Big Mac, man, God knows how many times they cooked it. Exactly. How long it's been there for. How long it's been in the microwave. Anything and everything, dude. Like, I don't know if you ever had, like, 
fries late at night and, and they busted. just taste nasty. Busted. You know what I'm saying? That's you don't know what happened to those fries throughout the day. Straight Literally. up. And like I I understand, you know, fast food in this day and age, you know, everyone's on the go, everyone's busy, everyone's, you know, rushed. Sometimes and it seems like so like, oh, I'll just, I'll just go to Tim's. I'll, I'll just go grab yeah. that. And I hear everyone say that. Like everyone's like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll just go there before we go out. We'll just go to Don's. Mm-hmm. But like if you just just sit down for like an hour, right? Because everyone has that hour. I know you do. Just make the time and prep the food and don't be lazy and, and understand that it's not a waste of time. It's an investment w- when it boils down to the money that you'll save. The time is equivalent of waiting in that drive-through, right? Yes. So, like, just, just, just don't put be, them side by side and don't just be understand that. Corners, man. Literally, corners do not is cut corners. The worst, I saw this thing today, and it said, "Do the hard things hard, mm. and do the easy things easy." Mm. Right? Because don't do the hard things easy. Do not do the hard things easy, and do not do the easy things hard. Mm-hmm. Because when you do what you need to do. And get the job done properly, then you don't have to do it over, and you're not wasting any time. And there's no do overs in life, oh, so yeah. do the do it right the first time, and every single day do it right. Once time is up, time is up. Time's up. A lot, yeah, a lot of people do not think about these things, man. I need I need people to start thinking about these things. You know, everybody needs to be on the same kind of process here. Because time is draining every day. Ah, so many people have lost sight of those things, you know? Like you said, the, oh, I'm just going to go. And it's habit. It is You've habit. been hearing these things. I don't know, like, most of our generation has heard this since they were kids. Oh, we're just going to stop at the corner store. Oh, we're just going to stop at McDonald's, Tim Hortons, in and out for those in the U.S. But why? Well, dude, it's just like... It's the norm that our world has set. It's it's so right? easy it's to standard. fall into that. It is. But and, break and the cycle. Break the cycle. Break for for the future cycle. generations. 100%. For, for the better good. And, like, the worst part is, like, the food that you, like, like for people that are planning on having children. Oh. The yo. food that you give Ooh. yourself is the, f- like, it's going to affect, deep. it's going to affect your kid, too. Like, your kid's going to come out. Mm-hmm. With, with with certain issues, right? We don't want that. We do not want that. A and healthy it's not, parent, it's not he- healthy dad, healthy mom. I wouldn't even call that touchy, man. Like, a lot of people that would have been like, oh, there. You know what I'm saying? But straight That's up. That's realistic. You sit down and take a look at all of the mothers out there who are pregnant with a baby, and they just chug alcohol like every day. What, how do you think your child's going to yeah, fare after different. that? You know what I'm saying? Or same like, thing with like food. Eat fast food and stuff. It's same thing with same food. Thing. You're feeding like, like your child. It's ridiculous. How those there's, nutrients. There's laws on alcohol and and smoking when pregnant, but there's no laws on McDonald's. <laughs> it's crazy because if you eat McDonald's every day, your kid is still gonna have issues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're feeding your child garbage. You're not giving your child that premium gas that he or she will need. Exactly. You're giving them absolute garbage. Mm-hmm. Running off of fumes, of beer, <laughs> running off of Pilsner yeah. in the gas tank. You can't be doing that, man. It's not good. You can't be doing. And that. it's just like it's like the same thing for you. If you if you don't want to take care of yourself, then then like you just shouldn't have kids uh, at the end of the day. Because <laughs> if you can't take care of yourself, how, how are you going to take care? of I will. S- so true. Another life, mm. and like this whole thing going on in the states right now with the. The abortion oh, things. Oh, we should do an episode on that. Yeah, we should. That would be crazy. Next episode, we'll do that. Next episode, let's do that. Cause that, I was honestly shocked. I could, I thought it was another like meme post or something no, that nuts. never even happened. And then I started looking into that's it. I was nuts. like, bro, there is no way. But we're we're gonna save that. Yeah, we're definitely gonna save that. And last thing, always never miss an opportunity to talk about money on this podcast because it's important. World is ran by money. World is ran by money. If you don't eat out every day, you're gonna notice your balances in your bank accounts increase so much. I think like the smartest thing to do is know how much money you usually usually spend, make these changes, and put that money into a savings account mm-hmm. every day, mm-hmm. right? And see how much money that you're gonna save. Oh man, like. Like it's ridiculous. Like thirty dollars a day. I was checking my bank time. accounts a week or two ago, and I was like, "Shit, man!" Like, 
I've been getting good at like managing my money, but where is all my money going though? Like I'm still noticing I could have more. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I check my bank statement. Wow. Food, 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 food. And not from grocery shopping or anything like that, man. Like just eating out straight up. And I'm just like, wow, with every page that I scroll, that's like $100 I could have saved. Oh, dude, it's ridiculous. It adds up so quick. You're like, you're like, oh, 25 bucks for a whole meal. That's not bad, dude. You 25 bucks grocery store. I mean, right now it's pretty hectic. But before, that dude, would last you I, I can spend crazy. I can spend like right now. I can get about half the week for $40. Like just and that's like one meal at a at a restaurant right now is forty dollars. Forty bucks. So 40 I, I can bones. do four days, right? That's mm-hmm. what six twelve meals for forty dollars. Start saving that money. I want this money, to be the new norm because everyone. Man. I feel like lots of people feel pressured to eat out, mm-hmm. right? They feel pressured mm-hmm. to to go to restaurants. They feel pressured because it's like it's the norm, right? It's but I, I want to like I want to like push it onto people that yeah. like you don't have to always spend money go out it's especially you know, hard drinks, when you're around this, your friends exactly. especially hard when you're around your friends and they're like hey let's go out and eat like oh it'll be a good time and all that you know what it's okay to say nah man i'm good like i'll mm-hmm. go out with you guys i'll still share that moment with you but i'm not gonna buy anything mm-hmm. no honestly you know? when your mom when your dad when whoever looks over you says we have food at home bro that is so facts that's facts i think every now and that's then that's so facts i like supporting local Mm-hmm. Right, like the place we went the other day, Blue Dragon. Oh yeah, that that place was, that was good. Fire. That place was good, right? They have like you know nice noodle dishes. I like sushi restaurants. Mm-hmm. There's certain things that and are like even, okay. Even the local people is how you know that it's not completely like it's not McDonald's. It's exactly it's not chain. You know? So like it's still not the greatest because there are some places that again cut corners. Mm-hmm. I think the most but. important thing is just checking out the the nutrition facts, right? Mm. And just knowing, just like the knowledge of knowing what's going into your body and not being oblivious to it. That's the most important thing. Um cuz lots of people they just they just sit back and they're just like, "Oh, whatever, like it's just food." But it's not just food. Like it it, it boils down to um so many different areas, right? Cuz like there's healthy fats, unhealthy fats. Oh, healthy the whole gets unhealthy deeper, like it's, it's deeper, just, it's just nuts. deeper. It just we're, goes on forever. We're not certified health officials nah. or anything. We're not nutritionists. Like uh, we've probably both seen or taken courses on this kind of stuff. We're not certified. These are just your experiences. Mm-hmm. But honestly, man, you go on the internet and look this up for two seconds, you'll see everybody saying the same thing. It's true. Or I'd even argue sometimes it's even harder to find like the real shit. Yeah, people who true. break it down for you, right? Because the way everything is programmed, everybody wants to gear you up for, hey, let's go to McDonald's. They want you to spend that money, but don't, man. Go to the grocery store instead. Buy the good stuff. Save your money. A lot of people don't realize that this money that's going in to fast food, like if you're okay with spending $100 on a night out, you should be okay with spending $100 on several different oh dude there's so many people that are like oh a hundred dollars for groceries that's way too expensive like but they're like oh a hundred dollars to go out with my friends that's not too bad like bro it's like what you know what i'm saying even even in founding and starting this podcast like buying all this equipment like i've switched my mindset completely 180 flip i don't go oh man like buying all this equipment to start a podcast that's super expensive that's like 250 dollars like i don't want to do that when I'm I was also comfortable with going out on a weekend and spending the same amount of money. That's that's exactly it. It's just like it it's all around circle, right? It's just like deciding what you want. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you want to sit on the couch and watch Netflix for two hours or do you want to go to the gym for two hours? Because they're both the same amount of time, but one's gonna benefit you and one's not gonna benefit you, right? So like it's just it's just investing in yourself. Choices, it's, it's stop, choices, stop choices. making excuses because no excuses. because you're not you're not helping. Common yourself. theme here at the Unfiltered Podcast: Stop making excuses for yourself, man. Word, no more. Word, no more. Oh, I think I think that's a wrap. I'm pretty tired. I worked. It's like twelve thirty. It's <laughs> been a it's been a hectic past few weeks, but but we'll, um, we'll get back on track. We will. Thank you guys so much for for tuning in episode five.
Appreciate all of y'all. Podcast. More uh, rolling out soon. I love you all. Thank you very much. Run up those socials. Run up the subs. Run up the likes. We're going to be here all the time. Don't miss out. Peace. Peace. Take it easy. It ain't easy being this steezy. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs>